but have you noticed it has returned 1 as well which is not a prime number okay why is it not a prime number so we have to tweak it hello everyone welcome back to part 6 of appian tutorial series i hope you guys are doing great and are in pink of health so today we will learn how to find even number odd number and prime number in appian so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so even numbers are the numbers which are completely divisible by 2 okay so let's do it so i'll take a local variable for that Let's name it as local numbers, list of numbers, list of number. The name of your local variable should be meaningful. List of numbers and we'll use enumerate function. Okay. Enumerate 100. It will return a list of numbers starting from 0 to 100. Now we don't want to include 0. So for that we just have to add 1 to this function okay and then now uh, since it is a list of integers we will be using loop okay so a bank for each items it accepts two parameters items and expressions okay items items is gonna be a local variable local a okay an expression so now we have to find whether the number is divisible by 2 or not so there is a function called mod okay so mod also accepts two parameter dividend and divisor so for dividend di so dividend is gonna be an item okay this loop will run for 100 times because in items we have given local variable which contains a list of integers starting from 1 to 100 okay and mod coming back to this mod function uh, dividend is gonna be our item okay fp item so first item is gonna be one second two third three and so on so one f one is our fb item and divisor we will be uh, dividing it by two okay if this equals to zero then it's a it's an even number else it's an odd number okay so now we have to use if condition over here if if mod of fb item 2 is equal to 0 then it's an even number okay so return me the number else return nothing okay now let me sorry this is not local this is local list of integer i have a very bad habit of naming my local variable as local a okay now let me test this rule out list of number 50 2, 4. now it has given me a list of numbers which are even okay 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 all right now we will find the odd number okay so we don't have to do anything so odd numbers are the numbers which are not divisible by 2 okay just opposite of even number okay so now we'll take a local variable local variable local list of integers sorry list of numbers okay enumerate we will find all the odd numbers between 1 to 100 okay so enumerate 100 now we have to exclude 0 so for that we just have to add 1 to this and uh, it will exclude 0 from the list and include 100 okay and then we have to use for each as it's a list of numbers as it's an array so items is gonna be a local variable local list of numbers then in expression now we are going to use the same function mod function mod dividend is gonna be our fb item okay divisor 2 if 
it gives result as zero okay then it's an even number if not then it's an odd number okay so if mod of this is not equal to zero then it's an odd number okay so now we have to use if condition if what this operator mean this means not equal to okay if mod of this not equal to zero then return fb item that is gonna be a odd number else return nothing okay now let's test this rule out okay i need to i need to comment this one it says uh, expression equivalent function keyword mix not should not be mixed okay if mod of this is not equal to zero i think there is an extra close parenthesis unmatched open okay so it has given me a list of numbers which are odd okay one three five seven till 99 cool now let's see how to find prime numbers all right and i want to know from you guys what prime numbers are okay let me answer my own question a prime number is a number when it's divisible by a number other than one and itself and it should only have two factors okay so for that let me take another local variable local variables let's name it as local list of numbers okay so we will find all the prime numbers lying between 1 and 100 cool so using same function enumerate it will return a list of numbers starting from 1 to 100 okay 100 and excluding 0 and including 100 cool now for each a bank for each items so items is gonna be a local variable local list of but before that let me comment this part list of number expression so now you have understood the use of mod function okay now we will try to find prime number using the same function mod function so mod mod of fb item okay this is gonna be a dividend and divisor enumerate enumerate of fb item plus one so what it is gonna do it is gonna because mod accepts list of integers okay as you can see here list of number list of number okay this could be a list of number and this could be a list of number two but in our case this is just an item here and this is a list of number okay so it is gonna divide this number with this list one by one and this is gonna return me a list starting from fb item okay sorry starting from one till fb item let's say uh, if a fb item is five so five is gonna be divided by one then two then three then four and then five itself okay if equals to zero let's see what it returns output is too large true 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 false true okay let's take fb item as two so for the first iteration it is dividing the fb item that is two by one so it's returning 
true because it's completely divisible by 1 now for the second iteration it's dividing 2 by 2 and it's returning true because it's equal to 0 right it's completely 2 is completely divisible by 2 right so now I'm getting the result in true and false okay so what I have to do I have to count how many trues are there for each of the item okay so for that what I will do here I will use where contains okay where contains so I am trying to find the true the index of true true value is true and in this array so it's gonna find the index wherever it is returning true and now if it returns true at more than two indexes then it's not a prime number because the factor should not be more than two okay so we have to find how many trues are there for each of the numbers okay now what i'll do here i'll use count function i'm gonna count the number of true okay count that means if it is equal to two it's a prime number but if it is not equal to two that means it's not a prime number okay now i have to use if condition if okay let me first count the number of true 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 false true false true false true false true false true false true 100 items so what it is doing here for the first item it is finding if the count of true is smaller than 2 or not so in the first case it's smaller than 2 so it's returning true in the second case it's smaller than 2 it's returning true in the third case it's smaller than 2 but in the fourth case it's not smaller than 2 which is why it's returning false now I will use if condition if the count is smaller than or smaller than or equal to 2 then it's a prime number return fb item else return nothing okay let's see what it returns 1 2 3 5 7 but have you noticed it has returned 1 as well which is not a prime number okay why is it not a prime number because it has only one factor that is one prime numbers need to have exactly two factors so we have to tweak it okay so here we are checking if uh, the count of true is greater is lesser than equals to two or not so we just have to remove this operator from here now we need to make sure the count of true should have to be equal to two okay if it is lesser than two then it's not a prime number if it is greater than two then it's not a prime number if it is equal to 2 then it's a prime number cool let me test this rule out again now it has removed one from the list and returned me 25 items you can see right so yeah i think that's all i have for today if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye